a handshake and a show of respect between these two superstars before they square off. The match is underway. Even though these two men have tremendous respect for each other, you can tell that they're both looking to pick up the win tonight. Oh, it's no doubt about it. When that bell rings, it doesn't matter if you're competing against your best friend or your worst enemy. These superstars are determined to walk out as the victors of this match. WWE Magazine out this month, and you'll find some interesting articles in there about all the superstars here in WWE. Who do you get to read the magazine to you, Cole? The crowd on hand tonight, Curly fired up for this match here on Superstars. Whoa. He's still not through. I'm not sure I can watch this. Two. Back in the ring again. Good. Keep it in the ring, guys. And that's a shot that could drop a grizzly. Oh, watch out. Not a lot of spring left in his step right now. Hideo Itami is fairly new to the American sports entertainment scene, but that doesn't mean he's not an accomplished competitor. Itami has reached near legendary status in his homeland of Japan. Where I might add, Itami is a former tag team champion, junior heavyweight champion, and heavyweight champion. It's no wonder he's a big deal in Japan. Inside the ring now. Finally, let's get this done inside the ring. Clothesline. Whoa, Hideo Itami goes down. Man, he's still down after that move. I almost wonder if his bell got seriously rung there. One. Two. You can bet every superstar on the roster is crowded around the monitors in the back to see which one of these guys comes out victorious. Sickening thud as his body is driven to the mat. Well, we're on the move here. He's bringing it back inside the oh, ring now. I can't blame him. Keep it in the ring. After a move like that, he's going to need a chiropractor in his near future. He's not exactly popping up to his feet here. Well, what do you expect, Michael? Did you see what just happened? Few superstars are as dominant as this guy. There's been a lot of buzz in the locker room area today in anticipation of this episode of Superstars. There's no quit in these guys, but unfortunately, only one of them can be victorious here tonight. And getting it put on him, Nao Atami. Great one-on-one -on -one action here tonight. It doesn't get much better than this. Oh, wait, nice reversal. His chest may be black and blue after this. There's going to be a lot of offense in this match. Wouldn't have it any other way. That's what I love to see. Remember, momentum in WWE can turn on a dime. And leave you some change. He's setting it up.
We might be seeing the beginning of the end. What a move by Dale Height. Yeah, Dale Height never ceases to amaze me. Covers. victory oh those WWE competitors tore this arena apart here's your winner Mad Dog Eric Dalehide gets it done to pick up the win that was simply a case of one guy determined to prove his dominance over another. And it looks to me like our winner is our... Please welcome my guest tonight. Let's talk about Aiden English. He interrupted your match tonight to ambush you. Have any thoughts you want to share on that? He's lucky it was a cheap shot that got me. If we were face-to-face -face in that ring, I'd break him and end it right then and there. But instead, he must be scared waiting right now. He knows I'm waiting for the right moment to get at him. I'm going to get my revenge when he least expects it. There is a lot of tension brewing between you two. What's going on there? Yeah, there is tension between us. Tension that's going to end soon with me putting him through the mat. He's in my sights, and I'm not going to quit until he's done for. I know you can hear me out there. You better run. You better not get in the ring with me, because it will be your last match. There you have it. Back to you, Cole. Both men enter this match with tidal waves of momentum, which set them on a collision course for this very moment. It's all or nothing, and these two men wouldn't have it any other way. What a match this is gonna be. I've been looking forward to this one for a long time, Cole. Look at this, there is absolutely no wasted motion in this attack. You know, Cole, I'd love to sit here and describe Kalisto's amazing offense, but I don't think my words could do them justice. They really have to be seen to be believed. What's your analysis of Kalisto? A ton of talent, a ton of ability, certainly someone to keep an eye on. Dropped, and that was a hard, hard shot. Like you, King, I have to remind myself to call the action when Kalisto's in the ring, rather than sit back and watch in complete awe. You do that a lot, and it's so easy to get caught up in his offense. It's seriously unlike anything we've ever seen before. We're in the feeling out process. Who's going to get the advantage and maintain control? Your guess is as good as mine, Cole. Extra slow getting back to his base here. Man, what a maneuver. Man, that one rocked him. Sure, but with a miss like that, I'm wondering if he has something in his eye. Nobody home there. Nobody home? Cole, that looked like the house has been empty for months. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects. 
<laughs> that might have realigned the spine permanently. Oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades, and all of it can be used to cause massive damage. Kalisto may be only 5'6", but he seems to have no problem hanging with the bigger competition here in the WWE. If he's 5'6", it's because he's standing on a phone book, but his lightning fast pace that disorients the opposition, that's what is impressive. And I can't tell you how many times I've nearly seen the guys twice the size in the ring befuddled at what he does. You just can't catch up to him. Wow, he's still down after that. It looked like his whole neck just crumbled there. Maneuvers like that put everybody in danger. No kidding, that's awful. He's sending a message to the entire WWE locker room here. Boy, he just got laid out. And it's that speed you were talking about, John, that has led Kalisto to great success in NXT, including him and Sin Cara beating the once unbeatable Ascension for the tag team titles. Oh, talk about getting flattened. Watch it. Good night. Ouch. These superstars looking for a victory, looking to build momentum. You're right about that. Momentum is so important in a match like this. And I think he's begging him to bring it. Cole, you brought up Kalisto's NXT success. But let's not forget that Kalisto also won his first ever match on the WWE main roster when he and Sin Cara beat Curtis Axel and Heath Slater. Now that's making a statement. What a move by Dale Height. Yeah, Dale Height never ceases to amaze me. The shoulders are down. Two. Another amazing singles contest. These two never cease to entertain the WWE Universe. He thinks he has it. One, two. There can only be one top dog here in the WWE, and a win here will go a long way in solidifying one of these guys' claims of being the best in the business. He's too busy bragging and boasting and battling in this matchup. Oh, looking to make a statement here. What a move by Dale Height. Yeah, Dale Height never ceases to amaze me. This should do it right there. I think this is it. Two, three. What a win. Man, he's got to feel great. You want to talk about crowd pleasing? Oh, that was a match for the record books. The WWE Universe will be buzzing about this one for a while. Oh, they mesmerized the WWE Universe in that match. Here's your winner, Mad Dog, Eric Dalehide. Big pinfall victory here tonight. Now that's having a game plan and executing it to perfection. It'll be interesting to see the fallout following. Introducing the challenger from Fort Wayne, Indiana, Mad Dog Eric Dalehide.
So much anticipation, and it all comes down to this. And there's the bell. There's no question that this one's going to be a struggle. An outright battle of wills. From our vantage point, it doesn't even look like a sweat has been broken. Kevin Owens, let's get your take on him. You know, I've heard Kevin Owens tell people to trust him on more than one occasion. To be honest with you, I'd shake hands with him, but I'd count my fingers afterwards. Here's somebody who's willing to do just about anything to get to the top. I like it. That's the way it should be. My God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. Man, I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Oh. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. He's too good inside the ring to be out on the floor for long. I don't agree with you, King. That stop might have only lasted a second, but it's going to be felt tomorrow. That may be felt for a lifetime. Quickly back to the topic of trust, I'd say Sami Zayn trusted Kevin Owens, and look what happened to him at NXT TakeOver, our evolution. I don't know why anybody would trust anybody in this industry. Everybody's trying to get to the top of that mountain. Making friends isn't going to get you there any sooner. In fact, it might slow you down. Two. That's a classic textbook maneuver. Exactly the way it should be done. Go well, out here, you have to be able to think on your feet lightning fast. One mistake, one moment of hesitation, and you could find yourself in a world of hurt. Four. Remember, in championship matches, the title cannot change hands by count out or disqualification. Yeah, that's why they call it the championship advantage. You can lose the match, but keep the title. Just by looking at Kevin Owens, I wouldn't think he'd be the type of superstar to pull off a moonsault. Then I saw him do it, and wow, was I ever amazed. This guy's just getting worn out. Getting back into the ring now. King, you can take a breath. He's delivering an old-fashioned butt kicking right here. Wow, he's still down after that. Even more damage to the chest. Oh, that chest has got to be hurting. You can practically feel the wear and tear that's been done throughout this match. The moonsault's not the only move Kevin Owens will surprise you with. He's also been known to execute a flawless senton bomb from time to time. Yeah, and guys like Kevin Owens aren't usually the ones you see doing a senton bomb. That's typically reserved for the smaller guys. And there's another elbow drop. Oh, man, that's, that's got to be taking its toll. Wow, he's still down after that. Look past the ring at the thousands and thousands of WWE fans in attendance. Each and every one of them are having a great time tonight. Oh, you're right about that. You always have a great time when you attend the WWE event live, just like we are here tonight. This is wonderful. Not this. End of story. This one's over. There's the finishing move. Don't know if you have anything left after that. He's going for the pin. This could be it. I think he's got him. Championship on the line. Oh, you're right about that. Let's get this thing going. Who's going to be the champion? Putting careers on the line with moves like that. At this point,
point. You'd think he'd have that move well scouted. Extra slow getting back to his base here. A singles title doesn't gain you instant entry into the Hall of Fame, but it sure gets you a whole heck of a lot closer. His shoulders are down. Two. Quick thinking to avoid that. Both of these competitors have so much resolve, it's going to take a minor miracle to keep one of them down. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. I can't blame him. Keep it in the ring. No, not again. There's the cover. Can he do it? I think he's got it. A knockdown drag out brawl complete with a big stomp. Man, these guys are throwing bombs. They're pulling out all the stops. Here he goes for the win. Let's do this. Two, three. He did it. The winner and your new champion. You want to talk about incredible high-impact sports entertainment? Check out what happened during this match. Let's go to the highlights here. Oh, what a spectacular match. Now let's take a look at some of the big highlights. Here's your winner and the new NXT champion, Mad Dog, Eric Dalehide. A very decisive victory here tonight. And now we're looking at the new champion. Unbelievable. The crowd here tonight certainly seemed to appreciate the efforts. What a great match. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the NXT Championship. Introducing the challenger. From Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 182 pounds, Hideo Atami. It's time now.
and his opponent from Fort Wayne, Indiana. He is the NXT Champion, Mad Dog Eric Dalehide. Wow, the roof nearly blew off the arena for this superstar. Here's a guy committed to excellence. You have to appreciate that. Indeed he is. Wow, this amazing crowd is in for one hell of a match. Based on the electricity that's traveling through this arena and decibel level of the crowd, I think it's safe to say the roof of this building just might blow off. What's your take on Hideo Itami tonight? You know, Cole, I've been watching Hideo Itami ever since he came to the States, and I think I can confidently say that he knows more moves than maybe anybody else on the roster. The sky's the limit. I see a lot of main events in the future. We're seeing two outstanding athletes looking to prove their dominance in there but only one can walk out victorious. Who will it be? How much damage did that do? A lot from the looks of it. Oh! Hideo Itami certainly does have a wide array of offense, King, as you mentioned before. And for me, I'm most amazed at his variety of kicks. No, you got that right, Cole. Especially his roundhouse kick. I mean, that thing is lethal. Oh! Well, out here you have to be able to think on your feet lightning fast. One mistake, one moment of hesitation, and you can find yourself in a world of hurt. He's too good inside the ring to be out on the floor for long. I don't agree with you, King. My God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. Man, I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. Boy, he just got laid out. Showing a great deal of faith and trust in that move. I'm not sure I can watch this. Ooh, nothing pretty about that. Oh, out here you have to be able to think on your feet lightning fast. One mistake, Three. one moment of hesitation, and you could find yourself in a world of hurt. And he brings the action back inside the ring. Yeah, I, I, I think this is good strategy. Whoa, Hideo Itami goes down. Eats the canvas. Quick thinking to avoid that. And Hideo Itami reverses it. Hideo Itami showing us how to get it done. Good night. These are great competitors, great, tremendous gladiators here in WWE. Some of the best superstars the WWE have to offer. A legend in his homeland of Japan, Hideo Itami brings to the States more than a decade and a half of in-ring
boxing experience. Yeah, and it was in Japan where Hideo Itami developed that sneaky, hard-hitting style of his. You really wouldn't expect somebody of his size to pack such a punch. Man, he's still down after that move. I almost wonder if his bell got seriously rung there. There's going to be a lot of offense in this match. You wouldn't have it any other way. That's what I love to see. Two. The chest cavity can only withstand so much abuse before Three. it collapses. I hope we don't see that here. I'm not sure I can watch this. I don't know how much longer he's going to be able to go. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. I can't blame him. Keep it in the ring. Uh-oh. Big move coming. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What a move by Dale Height. Yeah, Dale Height never ceases to amaze me. The championship hangs in the balance. And then it could fall at any moment. This is a great matchup, Cole. Who's going to win this championship? Boy, he just got laid out. The end may be near. What a move by Dale Height. Yeah, Dale Height never ceases to amaze me. He may get the three count right there. Gonna be close. Two, that hard hitting style we talked about. He keeps it. What a win. Oh, they mesmerized the WWE Universe in that match. the championship retained over some game competition. This was an awesome match.